Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Bit less space in here, that's kind of what I'm after. I don't know, I, I don't really know what I'm trying to do in there, I'm just, it, it, it'll be fine. Uh, no, what I want to do is I want to have this one down here, but I want lots more of those, so where am I going to put them? Up here. I, I've got loads of space up here. I've got absolutely no shortage of space up here whatsoever, have I? And there's no reason that I can't use it. So if we go like that, and then we go to ventilation in here, I've got canister filler. No, it's not that. It's just regular base stuff, isn't it? Yes, gas reservoir right in here. I can put lots of these in. So what are these? These uh, That's copper ore, iron ore, gold amalgam. I'll take iron ore for making these. And I will go one, two, what do you mean unoccupied space? Oh, I got that one up there. Fine, 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 fine. I will remove that. I will do this. I'll go right way along. I'm not going to go any further than there for a minute. We've got something here. I don't know what that one is, though. We'll have a look at that a little bit later. I don't want to look at it at the moment. We will come back to that one to see what that is. There's usually another geyser, that is. But we don't know what it is. We've got to uncover it first to be able to find it and, and do something with it. I've got people, they're, they're learning skills all over. And we've got another blueprint in here that we can go and get. So I can get another Dreco, get some blossom seeds, bristle blossoms. Seed of a bristle blossom. Um, Or I start building these up. You know what, I'm not going to. Let's just... Should bring in a Dreclet? No. Blossom seed. Ah, just take a blossom seed. Why not? Let's see why we shouldn't. And then we've got all of the water over here. We've still got... We're waiting on these pipes. That's still going to take a while. Refined metal in here. I've, I'm waiting on the iron to be produced, basically, now. In order to be able to finish doing everything that I've set myself doing, we're waiting on that. I've got the heavy conductive wire up here. They're now working on that. We've not got very much left to do to finish doing all of that. And that's going to start using up some of this hydrogen, which is kind of good because the hydrogen's ticking over the base at a phenomenal rate. And it's starting to get a little bit alarming at just how much is taking over this base. It's going to cause us problems. There's a lot of water coming down here. That's fantastic. That's all pouring into here. These radiant pipes are all being filled out and being used. This is coming on up. That's being used. i got nothing going on in here. Pump not in liquid. Disable building so that you're not trying to drain the power off of there. I've got no liquid going in. Well, I haven't at the moment, but i got the bottle emptier in here. So that one will be used eventually. It's just not being used right now. Uh, the rest of this is looking all right at the moment. Just for now, everything seems to be doing okay. I got all oh, look at the water coming down here. The amount of water we've got coming through here. This is still going, though. This is mostly clean water in here at the moment. And what's the temperature in here? We've got water at forty-three point five in here. And then I've got this water all the way over here. That is two degrees that's coming out there at. The liquid pipe that's got 44 degree water going into it. And then it runs through this and it does sort of warm it up a bit. The water in there is 44 degrees. Okay, everything else in there is, is, is good. I'm, I'm quite happy with how everything's running. It's just a continual strip. The, the water coming through here doesn't matter because they go into the Atmo suits. It doesn't make any difference to them at all. It doesn't hurt them. It doesn't endanger them. It doesn't affect them in any way, shape, or form. Uh, if I go back to the base down here, gas reservoir, we're sticking with iron ore for making these. There, and I will do this like this. So this is going to be my natural gas reserve down here. Uh, I 
And yes, I am doing an excessive natural gas reserve. I feel that that is perfectly acceptable. Cancel that build there. Uh, go back to you. Gas reservoir. There, like that. That's what we wanted. That's what I wanted to see in here. Tile in there. Put that tile in there. I'm still waiting for one up there to be done. That shouldn't take too long. So I'll let all of those be built. I'll leave it at that for now. And then we'll run a pipe out. We'll connect it round and join it into these. So that we've got that gas reservoir filled with natural gas. And there is going to be a lot of it. Look at all of this water coming down. Which is pouring down into our massive great big tank down here. I've got the radiant pipes here. I'm just waiting on the last few deliveries of iron ore to go and finish this one off. Shouldn't take too long. And then we'll be able to start cooling this water down. The water in here is 40 degrees at the moment. And so the radiant pipes running through there. Plus radiant pipes running through all of this. It's going to cool the whole base down. Temperature overlay. You look at this. I mean, look at that. The temperature in there is 45 degrees. Uh, natural gas is almost 50 degrees in there. It is really hot. We don't need it being that kind of high level temperature. In here, it's 33 degrees. It's too hot in there. I've got to have. I've got to have it all being cooled down. Um, we're nearly done there. So we've got just a few more bits up here and then those two generators will be able to come online. I'm quite looking forward to that. I want to be able to get all... Ooh. Oh, it's all connected in. Excellent. Right, let's have a look. Plumbing overlay like this. So we've now got... That is now running through here. It's running through all of this. Right, I've got water running in through here at 18 degrees. It's coming down this way at 16 degrees. 16 degrees on there. See, it's coming down here and it's splitting off. So it's coming that way to start with. And then it's also splitting off and it's coming down here. And that's about 13 degrees. And then it's running through here and it's taking the temperature out of the water through that radiant pipe right there. And then it's going up here, and that's at 40 degrees right there. There's just a few little slugs of it already. This is brilliant. And so that's going to go on up through this way. This water up here will stay at a pretty good temperature. So it's 15 degrees up there, so it, it's a little bit warm. Temperature overlay up here, and you can see, I mean, in here, just, just there, it's, it, it is cool. But you, you've got sort of set temperatures that it can come out through. So it, it's uh, 15 degree um, plugs, basically. If we were to change, we could change this round and only have polluted water in the cooling system. And that can then drop to below freezing and it can be more effective. But at the moment, I'm not too worried about that. I'm thinking that we can just leave it as it is and, and we can just let everything carry on. This down here has now finished. This is good. Right, go to you, copy settings. Paste those settings into there. I got sleep wheat required in there. And then I got sleep wheat that's being grown over this side. I will go also into that one and I will... No, not copy settings. How do I copy? The, oh, there, copy, there. There's the copy. Put that over to that side, like that. Allow them to go and build this. They'll go and build up the rest of it, and then we can possibly extend that farm out a little bit further. This is all looking pretty good in here. I want to go temperature overlay. And you can see the Weezwort is cooling this down. And it seems to be cooling it down reasonably well. It's not wonderful but it's cooling it down enough to keep everything sort of about the temperature that i want i don't want it getting too ridiculously cold down here that pipe is minus 20 degrees that could end up being a problem although what have we got the the water contents in there is 15 degrees so that should be all right hopefully that bit will be all right We'll have to keep an eye on that. That may end up sort of causing us a few difficulties. I'm, I'm not quite sure at the moment. 
Uh, this bit up here, so I've got the contents of this pipe. We're coming up here at about 35 degrees at the moment. And then they go on up here, go up a bit further. They get to this point right here. 38 degrees is going in there. So it's coming into this one. And that one in there, we've got slime lung germs in there. I don't really care, but it's the 44 degrees that is going into there. And there's, so it's going to be quite hot water in there. I got iron ore that's being dealt with in there. And then that goes up through this way. This has now been taken care of. And that's the other thing that I want to look at, was temperature in here. Very high temperature here, 50 degrees. And that's because of the cool steam vent. And then that temperature does sort of spread over this way and it dribbles down a bit of water. I've also got very high temperatures in here. And those are also impacting things. So we kind of want that temperature to be spread out. Now there's something else that I can do to like help to dissipate the temperature up there. I'm not going to do that yet. I have these other things that I want to focus on first. Namely, I want to get that bit down there done and... I want to make sure that all of the other bits are done as well. How are you doing in here with this? 7,000, 7,000, 7,000, 8,000. Right. That's working. It's a slow process, but it is actually working to drain all of this out. Uh, well, not drain it, to clean it. To clean the entire thing. That is actually working, and it's doing a really good job of it. So... On that front, we're not going to do, we're not going to change anything. This in here, I was wanting to get hold of the water. That's why I was coming out there, wasn't it? Plus, I got coal over this way. I'm not going to go any further on that for a minute. I'm going to leave it just, just for now, and I will come back to that later. You are okay up here, and this one is now actually working. We've got the hydrogen generator. That's removing hydrogen from up here, which means that eventually it's going to drain some of the hydrogen out of here. Because we are getting a ridiculous amount of hydrogen in here. It's not good. Uh, you halted down this side for temperature. So that's something else that we need to have a look at. And I think possibly the best way to deal with this is I've got water that comes along here, but it bypasses all of this. I need the cool water that we've got here. Look at that water there. That's at 21 degrees. I don't want that running along there. I need to... That's got to come out. So I'm going to have to deconstruct that line of water. Go there. Move that. Okay, look. See, i got a whole load of water in here. So let's now go and clear all of that, and then move that down there. Clean it all up. Excellent. Right. That's the first stage. Uh, let's go back into choose a blueprint in here. Coal. I will definitely take coal. i got 21 tons at the moment. There's another 3 tons bit available. Uh, I want to go back to the plumbing overlay. Now you can see again, with the plumbing goes through here but then it's 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 not I want it to run through that bit that's the only bit that I want it to run through so we're going to go back in there and we're going to remove that bit there like that and I'm going to go up here and I'm going to remove that bit there like that so it pushes the water through these that can go there now the water's running through that one it's not running anywhere else. Let's go like that. Go to the mopping feature. Mop that bit. And then down here and mop that bit. Is there anything else that needs mopping? Doesn't appear to be. Right. You're having a cup of coffee. So now what I've got is I've got the cold water. The cooler water here. 27 degrees. That's going to cool down further. Uh, that's all running through this way in order to be able to carry on around the base. No. It's only going to there. Yeah, I've done that wrong. I'm removing the bits up there. Let's 
do some mopping down there. We've removed those bits of pipes up there. That bit there has been removed. 22. No, that's a continual drain on water down there. So that one does encourage the cooler water to eventually flow through. Because if I look over this side, that's 22 degrees is going in there. That is 32 degrees that's coming out of there, which means that we're removing the temperature from in here. So if we have a little look in a bit closer, uh, you know what, let's do this. They're all being drowned at the moment. That's... That's not too good. Let's let's clean that lot up, shall we? And we want to come down here and clean that lot up. And we want to clean that lot up down there. If you could all just quickly go through and do all of the mopping that needs to be done. Excellent. Right, that's good. Uh, that's all been mopped up. Everything else has been mopped up as well. So now we can have a look in here. 21 degrees going in, 31 degrees going out. That's 21, 22, 22.6, 23.3. Look, you can see the temperature is literally, it's climbing as we go through. And that, where uh, that means that that temperature is going to start to come down. Right, we'll have these bristle blossoms in here. They will be growing. That temperature is going to alter. I've already got, well, no, that's going to be an oxygen room anyway. But the hydrogen is starting to change. It looks like the hyd look. It looks like the hydrogen is. This is working to suck up all the hydrogen. Right, that's good. We're pleased about that. Uh, next, I've got that building project right there. Uh, my cooling system. Overall, across the entire base, I've got cold water coming down here. This water in here is a radiant pipe, 25 degrees. The water is 28 degrees down here. 37 degrees over this side. Uh, this pipe right here, water at 32 degrees. It's definitely cooling down as it runs through this base. Things are getting a bit cooler in here. It's, it's getting a, a more tolerable temperature. Which is what we need. We That's what we want. We want a more tolerable temperature right through the whole base. Now what I could also do is change those pipes there to the insulated pipes to come all the way down. That's another thing that would help. I needed the, the things up there. I know I've got, I got something else I want to do before I get to that. Right, gas pipe. Just This is going to be just regular gas pipe. I've got very little coming out of here at the moment. You over there, analysis complete, dormant. Eruption period, 329 seconds every 712. Active. Uh, next activity, 83.7 cycles. What? I'm going to wait another 83 cycles before you're ready to do anything. Uh, that's, that's, he's just literally, he's not doing anything. He's gone dormant. I thought he was in the, I thought he was in the middle of doing something. But no, he's, he's literally just finished his cycles. Well, I've got the gas reservoirs in there, but they're now going to be starting to be used up, which means that all of these are just going to sit and do nothing for a little while. That's not quite what I was after. That's, that's a little bit unfortunate. Let's have a look at the gas pipes in here. So that's uh, intake up top. I can set some intake pipes along here, and we can start building some of these up. Like that. Let's just let it do its little daily thingy-majiggy. And there. And there. And then we want the gas output. Gas output. And there. That one. And that one there. Right. I've got intakes and outputs going in there. They will go and do that. Now, these bits down here, I can then go to you. I can copy settings and put you into those. And then we can allow them to come through. So I've got some sleep wheat down here. Sleep wheat grain times 18 just in there. That'd be good. If I can get that, that would be absolutely brilliant. I want to... 
remove those. And then when we've removed those, we need to build some more of these, the hydroponic farms. And then that will cycle round and we'll have water running through there. So I got a couple people over here that they're on their way over to go and remove that lot. There we go. They can jump through and they can gather everything up. They take, they're going to take the sleep wheat, but what are you going to do with it? Plus sleep wheat grain. Right. Pick up the sleep wheat and put them in these. They are. Good. Right. That's fantastic. They're putting all the sleep wheat in there. That's what we need. If they ain't going to do that a minute, uh, then what I'm going to do is... I'm actually going to dig that bit out. Like that, so I've got some more sleep wheat that they can come along and bring in. Uh, they need fertilizer and liquid and, and so on. So we, we've got a couple of things that we've got to wait for there for more sleep wheat. But that's fine. And I'm also going to go with a ladder uh, there, like that, and build that bit in. I'm just waiting for a couple more of them to come along. They're picking up the grains, and good. They are filling up these. That's good. That's what we need them to do. And first, I need them to clear this lot out of the way. Pick up these sleep wheats here. There's quite a few of them there. Pollution exposure. Could do without pollution exposure. Well, I guess what I can do, actually, if I don't need to worry about this. No, what I can do... I've, I've got another idea on that. Uh, hydroponic farm. Just plonk that one along there like that. Except for that last one. There. Put that as a piece of regular tile. Like that. And then this bit over here, this can be dealt with in a minute. What I'll do is if I remove those two bits of wall, I can put some base building out that side like that. And I can remove that bit and that bit right there. And then I can go with a base, just a regular pneumatic door that can go in there in a minute once I've got uh, everything else over here, over to this side and, and set up. At least this is what I'm hoping. Right, I got water going into here, water running in around there. That's, that's not making it. What is this? Anti-entropy thermo nullifier. I know what that is. An anti-entropy thermo nullifier is basically a machine. You cannot replicate them, but you can uncover them and use them. They remove heat without dis like our thermo aqua tuna that we've got up here, except that they don't heat up the surrounding environment. They just remove heat. They are absolutely amazing machines. And it would appear that we've got access to a few of them. Which is very, very cool. Okay, we've got that bit there. I want to go in here for a pneumatic door. Drop that one in there like that. And then I want to go to plumbing. Liquid pipe. I need to run that all the way through. Boom. Like that. All of those. Go and pick up everything else that you're picking up in underneath there. That would be absolutely fantastic if you can go and do that. I've got more attribute increases. i got no research selected. I'm just going to wait a minute for them to come down here. they just gone running through and picked up the 12 sleet wheat grain that was down here. Which I'm not sure was the bestest of things because it means that they've run off with it instead of planting it in my farm that I wanted them to plant it in in here. I guess it'll be alright. That'll work out. I've got more sleep wheat over here. They'll better come and grab some of that and harvest it and they'll better use it. Uh, this room in here, this this is all working perfectly in here. The five tons of water in there, that is all clean. Uh, my reservoirs here are not great. Uh, that water reservoir in there is doing really well. The germs are actually slowly dissipating. It's taking its time. But it is working. They are getting rid of those germs. That is absolutely fan schmastic news. And this is all working nicely. It looks like the hydrogen is slowly being dissipated. It sounds like we've got another duplicate available. Right, well, everything else seems to be going how I'd like it to. This is keeping full of water. 
I've got a permanent supply of water coming from this cool steam vent over here. Uh, every 216, every uh, active 75 out of under every 149. Next dormancy is another 60 cycles. So I have got a permanent supply of water. It's not going to go forever. It does have like long periods of downtime. But I've also got a lot of ice up here that we can end up using as well. So it's, it's not all bad. Like we have got a lot, a, a huge amount of ice that we can use here. So this the temperature overlay is what I want to look at next. Uh, thermo aquagen. The water in here is now 80 degrees. So by the time the water comes out down here, that's coming out at 16. It's pretty close to wanting to run through that one as well. So the water's quite high temperature in there. But it should work to sort of continue to keep everything cool. At least this is what I'm hoping. And down here, this is working to keep everything cool. We're 27 degrees in here. We know that we got hot water pouring down, but it's only 37 degrees. So the cooling system is kind of working down here. Pleased about that. That's filling up slow. I need that to fill up more. I'll let that fill right up more before we do anything else in there. I'm not going to worry about it just at the moment. I want this bit down here to fill up. But I am going to do some mopping in here. I'm going to mop that bit up. And that. I can't mop any of the rest of it down here. It's it's not going to work. Uh, but I can mop that lot up. There. Plus some of these bits. There. That's just ice up there. I can't really do anything with that. I've just got to wait for it to melt. And then we've got loads of bits of water everywhere in here. So that will be sort of fine as well. It's not going to really do any damage. It's not going to change anything. Um, I've got these bits over here. And I've got this. And that's where I was going to start digging down. I haven't gone any further with that. That's on my to-do list. My dig down. I need, I need to do a lot of digging down so that we can sort of keep extending out. But I've had other things that I've been wanting to do. To expand the base out a little bit. And now I'm starting to be quite happy with how we're getting on. Right, that was the ration box I wanted in there. Uh, cooking ingredient in here. Uh, sleep wheat grain, pinch of pepper nut. Edible cooked fish, barbecue, frost buns. Have we got eggs in here? Omelette. Right, well, to make an omelette, I can't make omelettes in here. Not on that one. I need the I need the new grill to be able to make omelettes, and I can't do anything with that at the moment. The grill's going to have to wait. That one is going to have to wait. The water in here is at 35 degrees. Let's have a look. The base... Yeah, that's cooling down. And this is definitely a lot... This is This is cooling now. You look in there, that's definitely cooling down. This is... It's actually getting rather chilly in this room. What are we in here? Um, well, sort of chilly. It's, it's not too bad. Oh, that's pressure. That's air pressure in there. Air pressure is a bit out on there. Is it high or low? Don't really know. But anyway, I, I I I don't have issues with power. I don't have issues with like we got those hydrogen generators up and running. Uh, we are going to run out of the. Nat well, unfortunately, that's all we've got time for for a little while. We need to let the replicants rest. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And I am just going to drag out this farewell just a tiny little bit. Just so that there is enough space and time on the screen to put up a couple lots of you absolutely wonderful supporters of the channel. You should be seeing some of your names coming up now. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.